Hi, this is Gary with G's Bees. I'm just out today looking at different sources of nectar and pollen around the farm and uh, just gonna take you on a little tour of that. Took some pictures of some wildfire. A lot of wildfires out right now. And uh, the sumac, I'll show you the sumac starting to come in just a little bit and uh, some other sources that we've got going on. So we'll go take a look. Just out today looking at some of the nectar sources that are starting to show signs of life. This smooth sumac is pretty dense in this area. The red buds have all bloomed out. Starting to get leaves on most of the trees. You can see some of that sumac starting to come in right in there. So it's pretty close for all the sumac to start, and that's a pretty, pretty good flow for me in this area. We'll go check around some more. The locust trees just started here in Oklahoma, where I'm at, central Oklahoma. Just started leafing out, and I noticed it about the 8th of April that the leaves were just starting to come out. So usually about 15 days after you see leaves, you start seeing blooms. So that's a pretty major flow, a bigger flow anyway, for me in this area. And I'm really looking forward to that. Starting to leaf out. Lots of activity today. Quite a bit of pollen coming in, as you can tell. It's about 70 degrees. It got up to 88 yesterday. So, I do not have supers on yet, but probably this weekend I'll take all the sugar cakes, all the feed off, and we will get to super it up, getting ready for the locust trees and the sumac. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and uh, we should be moving into some kind of nectar flow coming up pretty quick if we can get the temperatures to stay up long enough. And today's uh, about 75, is 88 yesterday, so it looks like it's on its way. So, good luck with your nectar flow in your part of the woods here in Oklahoma. It's getting ready to happen. Thank you.